Multi-Channel Analysis of Surface Waves, or MSW, is a non-destructive seismic surface method that is used for subsurface characterization using shear wave velocities. In this video, we demonstrate the acquisition of MSW data. The MSW data are typically acquired with engineering seismograph and low-frequency, vertically polarized geophones arranged at regularly spaced intervals. The number of geophones and geophone spacing control the investigation depth and resolution of the data. The total length of the geophone spread is directly related to the longest wavelength of the surface waves, which in turn determines the maximum depth of investigation. The receiver geophone spacing is related to the shortest wavelength and therefore determines the shallowest resolvable depth of investigation. In general, the longer the array, the greater the investigation depth is, and the smaller the geophone spacing, the higher data resolution is. 24 or more geophones are typically used to acquire MSW data. Evenly spaced geophones via a seismic cable are connected to the seismograph, an instrument that records seismic field data. The seismograph is powered by a regular 12 volt car battery and controlled by a laptop. For a seismic source, a sledgehammer is most commonly used to create an impact on the ground. A solid aluminum plate is typically used as a coupling device against which the hammer impact is applied. To achieve greater depth, a more powerful impact source can be utilized, such as weight drop source. The weight drop source can also maximize service speed for large-scale service that require a large number of impacts. The source is separated from the first receiver by an offset distance. The offset distance is typically 20% of the array length, however, can be site-specific. Prior to the field test, Data acquisition parameters such as source offset, geophone spacing, acoustic source type, and trigger type must be selected. Sampling rate of 1 millisecond is most commonly used in MSW surveys. The total recording time of 1 second is usually used for the impulsive seismic source MSW surveys. MSW data are normally acquired by a two-person crew. When the acoustic source is discharged, the trigger attached to the sledgehammer initiates the seismic record and notifies the seismograph that the survey has begun. The operator evaluates the acquired data quality and gives the signal to the second crew member to proceed or check the geophone connections if necessary. After acceptance of the sounding, Additional readings can be collected in the same location for the purpose of stacking records. Stacking is used to improve the data quality and generally used in noisy environments. 